My name is Camille Inahosa, and I'm the medical director of the Susquehanna Health Work Center. I've been practicing occupational medicine for 10 years. I did one year of family practice residency, and then I completed two years of occupational medicine residency. Following that, I worked at two Central Texas hospitals in occupational medicine for three and a half years. And then for the last five years, I've had my own practice in the specialty. The Susquehanna Health Work Center offers every kind of service that could be needed, so it's very complete. But in addition, it also, because it, there are many facilities, many hospitals, and many things that we can offer, it's a very expedited system and very efficient. So we can get patients in and treated and quickly get better and get back to work. We've also been shown to have an improved number of visits that are offered. Many, we found that the national average is 3.5 visits that an injured worker usually has before they're released to go back to work. In our case, we brought that down to 2.6, so we're very efficient to get patients back to work. The benefit of working with the Susquehanna Health Work Center is that the staff is very keen on meeting the needs of employers. We're very aware of the concerns of employers regarding OSHA recordability and getting workers back to work quickly. And so, and we're also very keen on speaking and communicating with employers frequently, whether it be on the phone or in person or coming on site to meet the needs of the employers. An occupational medicine specialist is able to do great things for employers and companies. It's been found that very well knowledgeable occupational medicine specialists can improve the productivity and the bottom line for companies because we are so aware of the need to get workers back to work and being productive. It helps the companies get their job done and lower their bottom line. Um, occupational medicine is about preventive medicine, and so we prevent injuries by doing substance abuse testing, surveillance physicals, um, other kinds of physicals, pre-placement physicals, so then the rate of injury at work is brought down, and then an employer doesn't have people off of work and not doing their job. So there's clearly been a relationship between a very good occupational medicine practice, such as we have at the work center, and being able to help a company's bottom line. In my practice in occupational medicine in Texas, I worked very closely with employers and with patients to get them back to work. For example, I worked with a particular company um, named Allergan, that's a ph pharmaceutical company in Texas, and I came out there several times and toured the facility, became familiar with their operations and what kind of hazards they have in their workplace. Later, they did have an injured worker that um, required care, and their safety officer, who I worked very closely with and, and, and spoke with quite a bit, he contacted me and made me aware of the situation and what his concerns were about this injury. And then I took care of that patient and saw him through, through the time that he recovered and was back to work. Um, it was a very satisfying outcome for the employer and for that patient. And what helped was the relationship that I had with that company. My belief in the relationship between the Susquehanna Health Work Center and the local companies is to continue to maintain the excellent working relationship that's already been established. Uh, we have an excellent history of reaching out to the community, and what I will continue to do is to foster that and build on that trust for years to come. So we'll continue with um, having an open door policy with visiting with employers, going on site with them and talking by phone about their concerns, and then continuing to, to see those improvements in productivity and, that, and those related issues improve over time.